I'm Harry, a first year dental student studying at Bart School of Medicine Dentistry and my story starts in 2018 when I just finished my GCSEs. So after my GCSEs I was looking for work experience and I had an opportunity to go to a local private dentist in near my school. Um, so I checked that place out because I thought, you know what, I want to do healthcare some sort, some way because of my previous experience in St John Ambulance. And when I went there, I really loved the patient interaction and I thought this was the career path that I was really interested in with all the practical aspects of it as well. So I decided that, yeah, this was the path I wanted to go into. So after my results, I chose chemistry, biology, maths and economics for my A-levels. Um, and my year 12 was just looking for those universities that I wanted to go to, as well as working on my grades as well. And I really wanted to go to ones in London, so Bart and King's were my top two that I really wanted to go to. I did my UCAT that summer as well, uh, between year 12 and year 13. Um, I got around 650 on average and a band three in um, situation judgment. So it was kind of mid, it was all right, but unfortunately I didn't get the grades for them. So I had got an A in maths, A in biology, A in chemistry, and an E in economics. Yeah. Um, I had to drop the economics because it was so bad and didn't really need it either. So I ended up just having three A's as my predicted, which wasn't good enough for Kings or Bart's because I need an A star somewhere. Um, but instead I applied for Bristol, Cardiff, uh, Manchester and Plymouth. And I got interviews from Plymouth and Bristol. Uh, so I went all the way out there. So like back then for every single interview, you had to drive all the way out there and go to them. Um, so yeah, I went at least three hours for each of them and I thought I did pretty well. No, I didn't. Um, I flopped both of those. I literally got rejections from both of those. Um, and if I had Bristol, uh, I would have got, I would have got a contextual offer. I Meaning all I needed was an ABB. Uh, so I would have been able to get it. Uh, but I didn't get the offer. So, uh, I just had my fifth choice left, which was neuroscience at Queen at Queen Mary and then it came down to my A-levels but then if we look at the year you must stay at home yeah Covid hit so which meant that everyone was stuck indoors I didn't have A-levels to do um, I literally just spent that summer 2020 just playing Warzone in my room for hours and on end with all my mates um, that, was a, that was a different time back then um, and in September 2020, I ended up going to Queen Mary to do neuroscience. So moving on to my time in university. Um, so for the first year, from the get-go, I decided, yes, I'm going to finish this degree and get into dentistry afterwards. So I started asking around if they had, if they had any sort of dentistry scheme, because medicine did. So the top 19 students in the biosciences course, so any of those, um, they would get a guaranteed interview into medicine, but there was no such thing for dentistry. So I was asking if there was or they would maybe consider it and they said no. Um, so instead I thought okay I'm just going to take the regular pathway, I'm just going to have to get the interview normally and get in after that. So I was asking all my tutors for advice on how to get into dentistry and their main point was just to be proactive and go ask for work experience, go ask for volunteering um, and all sorts like that. It was very hard to because after COVID, many of the dental clinics, they stopped taking work experience, saying that obviously for health and safety reasons. Um, so instead, I was like, okay, I'm just going to focus on my exams for now and just try to smash every single year. So in the first two years, I got an average of, I think it was 71% um, across both years. So I was on track for a first class. Um, and then when it came to the summer between the second year and third year was when my UCAT was. So I spent every single day after my second year exams focusing on UCAP. So I did I use something called Medify and on Medify there's like a heat map so you can see how many days in a row you've done. And I made sure to try and fill up every single day until my UCAT exam. I think it was in Ju July, August, I think it was. I cut, and I think it was about a week or two before I had my exam. I started doing mock papers every single day. Um, and one thing I even did was I printed out my old UCAP. I changed the numbers a bit um, and put them higher so I can't and stuck it up on my wall so that way I was kind of visualizing what I would get on 
the results um, after my ex uh, after my UCAT, and uh, I think I aimed for 800 uh, in each section, which is a lot. But I ended up getting an average of 700 um, across all four of them, and a band three in SJT again. Um, so even though I didn't get the 800, I feel like because I put that up there, tried to manifest it, even though I didn't get it, I still did really well compared to what I did before. And then Queen Mary reached out to me saying that they do have a guaranteed interview scheme for um, for dentistry, but it's only the top seven, not top, but not top 19. Um, and they said it's 50% based off your grades and 50% based off your UCAT. And based on that, they gave me a guaranteed interview before I even applied on UCAS. So that was great for me. All I needed to do was pass that interview and then get 2-1 and I was in. So I made sure to practice my interviews with um, with everyone that I knew in the dental field. So my cousin who was doing dentistry, uh, my um, other cousin who, was doing, who did medicine, um, some other people that do medicine as well. So anyone that has any sort of interview practice at all, I just asked. Um, and that really helped me as well. So in the end, I applied for um, Bart's, King's College and the other King's College as well, which was the graduate entry. So both undergrad and graduate entry and also applied for Bristol as well. Bristol rejected me straight away because they put their requirements for UCAT up and I didn't actually reach those requirements. Um, so I got the Queen Mary interview and I got the King's College graduate entry interview as well. So firstly, I had my Queen Mary interview in, I think that was in January, um, and the week after I had my Kings. So I made sure to try and smash both of those. Um, Queen Mary, I thought it went pretty well. The Kings, I started stumbling a little bit in that one. Um, and I could see in the result, uh, I, d I didn't get the place there. I'm kind of glad I didn't because um, it's a very intense course compared to the Queen Mary one. We had to do year one and year two basically at the same time. Um, so yeah, I got the Queen Mary one and all I needed to do was just get that 2-1. But I was trying to aim for a first class because I thought I'm already on track for it, I can get it. Uh, but unfortunately, I got this insane obsession for MMA and UFC all of a sudden out of nowhere. I think it's just because I started playing UFC 3 on my uh, PS5 for some reason and I just got really addicted to it and I started watching it all the time um, and it became quite distracting to start watching videos on it on YouTube instead of actually revising. What I ended up doing was trying to force myself every single day into the library, I think it was the West Smithfield Library which is a very nice library in uh, at St Bart's Hospital uh, near Barbican. Um, just trying to set myself in that studying mindset instead of just trying to sitting, instead of sitting at home just just watching videos all the time. So um, there, I was entered almost like a flow state. I was just typing away for my uh, dissertation, revising for my final exams, um, and I remember in March I had my project presentation, and I thought that went really really well. I had this, I don't know. It was like I wasn't myself. I had this otherworldly confidence when I was doing it. Um, and I did really well in that. And when it came to my final exams, um, I spent my time in my Len library, just revising in there for ages um, in their new extension that they did at the top, which is really nice. Um, and then I handed my dissertation as well in April, I think it was. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I graduated with a first class instead of the two one that I needed so I smashed it out of the park and uh, got in um, to dentistry in September. So that's my story of how I got into dental school after five years and with A levels that weren't good enough. So this was one of the pathways that I took into dental school. If you're interested in the other two I discussed them in this other video here and if you're applying yourself I wish you the best of luck.